Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Urban and Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-April general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And hope that you all are doing well. So I have to put this out here. I've done it for all the other signs. Um, I will no longer be leaving a link to the song in the description box below only because it takes longer for the videos to upload because when you are monetizing through YouTube, they want to make sure you're not stealing anyone else's content and I'm completely okay with that. So I get it, but it takes longer for the videos to upload because they're checking to make sure everything is okay before they clear it. So I will no longer be leaving the links, but I will still be mentioning the songs because I always get songs while I meditate over you guys' energy. So I will still be leaving the songs, the artists who sing the song, and the Zodiac sign for the artists that's involved, okay? So with that being said, the song that I got for you guys is Change Me by Justin Bieber, who happens to be a Pisces. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, someone rising Venus in the visual. You could have these placements in your chart also. And also something could have happened in, <laughs> I just got the chills, something could have happened in Pisces season, which was what, um... February, March time frame, okay? So that may resonate for you as well. Now, you guys know I do a lot of shuffling, but I want you guys to see this. When I finish shuffling, look at what you had at your general energy deck and the bottom of your clarifying deck. You're the queen of swords. If you notice, they're not going this way. They're going this way, like they're facing each other and both of their swords are up. This is like a clash. I, I'm literally hearing a clash of the titans. So you and your person could literally bump heads. You could be dealing with someone who is a fellow air sign also, another Aquarius, Gemini, or a um, Libra. Someone rides the Venus in the visual. You know, I just feel like somebody is very stubborn. If you see, she's standing and she's sitting. Like my sword is up and I don't care. I don't have to stand up. I'm telling you, this is where I am. This is what I feel. And I'm going to sit on it. I mean it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not changing. The name of the song has changed me. And that's what he's saying in the song. Like he knows that. What was, what was the phrase that it was a specific part. He says um, something about some when I'm yelling, don't yell louder. And that's exactly what I'm getting right here. And he says something about dedication and patience. Those are things that I'm facing. Something like that. I really want you guys to listen to the song. Again, the name of the song is Change Me by Justin Bieber. Listen to the lyrics. Find the lyric video. Because it does seem like, okay, if I'm acting this way, don't, don't mirror me. Because they're facing each other. They're mirroring each other. If I do one thing, you should do the same thing too. Teach me what I'm doing wrong. Show me what I'm doing wrong. Now, we, for the most people who are watching this, we're all adults. So it's like, I shouldn't have to teach you how to be an adult. You know what to do. But for some of y'all, this person just has a very strong, stubborn sense of self. Now, keep in mind, and I'm not saying you guys are stubborn, okay? I'm just telling you what I'm getting here. You can be, because guess what? Aquarius is a fixed sign. So you guys could get like this, stuck in your ways. Okay, so it could be you because you do have this twice, or this could be someone who has similar traits to you, you know, similar thought processes. Like, okay, if you do this, then I'm gonna do that. And it's like a tit for tat. It's like, you did this, I'm doing that. You, you know, it's a back and forth, but it's like nothing's gonna get anywhere in that energy space. Okay, that's what I'm getting for you guys. So let's see. So what I heard is the message that I wrote down because you guys know when I hear messages, I like to write it down so I can tell you exactly like I heard it. What I wrote down and what I heard is you are a positive influence for them. So that's why I say I feel like somebody has to be the catalyst for change, okay? They're the same person, same card, queen of swords. This one is sitting, like this person's stubborn, I'm not budging. But this person's standing like, okay, we have to change this. Something has to change here, okay? So let's go ahead, change card to the top and the bottom. And then we're going to get your major arcana, which is the star card. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And we'll clarify those cards, okay? Currently at the bottom of the deck, you got the magician. That's what I said. You're a positive influence. Like you are manifesting some type of change because the magician is a manifester. Okay. The magician also is associated with Virgo and Gemini energy. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus. And you did just have two queen of swords, male or female, put it wherever it applies. One of them could have been a Gemini energy. The magician is someone who is able to manifest things. They're an illusionist, so they can help you see things in a different aspect. You see, just see things in a different way. The magician is also known as to be a trickster. So this person may use your own actions against you, or you may use their own actions against them to help them learn that what they're doing or how they're going about things is not the best way to address something. I'm getting that also. Right up under here, you have a page of cups. So somebody, somebody's being compassionate. I'm just getting compassion. And this person can act immature emotionally. You know, pages are young, youthful. They still have some growing to do. And then we have cups. That's the emotions and feelings. This person could be emotionally immature, okay, that you're dealing with. So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get the um, 
Hmm. So you just uh, you guys see that you're watching what I'm doing. You just had the Queen of Swords twice. Look what you got, King of Swords. So this is definitely you could definitely be doing someone who has strong um air sign placements in their chart as well. This also could be someone that you're married to or engaged to or you've been with for a very long time. Now you have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so there'll be two people in someone's life or someone, like I said, it's just an emotional disconnect because of somebody's chosen behavior. And I'm hearing chosen behavior. Like someone's choosing to be stubborn. Someone's choosing not to see the error of their ways. Really listen to that song because I'm telling you, like, literally the way he was talking, it's, it's a very mellow, mild song, but it's also, you can feel, like, you can feel the depths of how he's like, don't give up on me. Just teach me what I'm doing wrong. That's what I'm getting overall. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have three of wands waiting for your ships to come in, seeing something positive coming in in your future when it comes to a ship relationship. And we are in um, Aries season. You have Leo Sash Aries energy here. Leo season. I mean, okay. Somebody could be doing Leo, but Aries season did begin in March. You have three of wands here. So something might have happened that caused some type of disruption or caused a shift because you see how this boat is shifting it's kind of leaning it could have caused a shift in your relationship in airy season is what i'm getting right up under there two of cups yeah and it affected how you guys see each other you see how they're seeing each other looking at each other eye to eye okay and again i'm gonna say you guys are mirroring each other they kind of look just alike don't they subtle differences here so it's like you guys are mirroring each other so let's go ahead and we want to get the major arcana for you, which is a star card. And the card that comes before and the card that comes after. So this is going to take long because we, we didn't even get that far before we got your card, okay? So right in front of you, we have the Eight of Wands, fast moving communication coming out of the blue unexpectedly. Wands is also fire, which is action, tenacity, vitality, and also passion. So someone could have said something very passionately. And then if you look at it right behind you, you have the Eight of Swords. So you got the Eight of Swords and Eight of Wands. Okay, somebody said something very possibly very feisty okay and it, it left someone in their head it's gonna left you in your head like okay i don't know what to do moving forward look at that queen of swords again wow 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 you guys keep getting the energy so i want you guys to see again you got the eight of wands here and then you have the eight of swords stuck mental imprisonment so you can't get over what somebody said or someone can't get over what you said because I, I feel like it was some real spicy shit somebody said it was hurtful Made somebody possibly feel small because you see how she's on her knees, like being submissive. Mm hmm. Could have made somebody feel small, either you or this person. Now, if you're completely single, I do feel like you have somebody coming in very quickly and unexpectedly while you're still going through a time of needing a heal from something from your past. I'm getting it also. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Aces are always a gift from the universe. That's not a physical hand, that's, that's the universe. Something could be coming in in Taurus season. A date that starts with an eight because you're surrounded by eight energy, okay? So an eight, eighteenth, twenty-eighth could stand out for you guys on a day, especially in Taurus season, okay? If you're completely single, it does look like you're gonna meet somebody in Taurus season again on a day that falls on an eight. Well, it has an eight in it. Eighth, eighteenth, twenty-eighth. Someone's life path number is definitely eight. <laughs> Somebody's life path number is definitely eight. Life path for personal year is eight. Some of you guys could have made a personal year eight. Because, you know, every year on your birthday, you're a new personal number. Personal year, that's a different journey for you. You could be an eight personal year right now. And a lot of people leave in the comment section, like, how do I find this? All you have to do is Google personal year calculator or life path number calculator. Because I feel like definitely with both of these eights surrounding you, you need to know this. Also, eight sideways is infinity. So you and this person have had past life stuff with each other. I'm getting that for sure. Okay. So let's part and go ahead and shuffle. You got the six of swords. I'm, I'm going to say again, I feel like somebody feels small. You see how she's on her knees and she's submissive. And you see how she's allowing him to just push them forward. But she has her head down almost like she's ashamed. You have a child or children with this person. And somebody's not very happy with the direction because he's sending them in a specific direction. Not very happy with the direction that the connection is going in, but they feel stuck otherwise. Like they can't move forward without this connection for one reason or another. Hmm. Possibly could be for monetary reasons because you have the ace, that large pinnacle. Yeah, and now you got three of pinnacles working and establishing and building something together. So someone, there could have been some arguments. There you go with the magician again. Okay, somebody's trying to manifest some type of change in this situation. 
because something's not working. Three of Pentacles is working, building, establishing something together. But what I was getting ready to say is like somebody may be staying in a relationship because financial reasons, financial and children, but they're not very happy. Because again, she doesn't look very happy there. There's an energy of not being happy, feeling bound, feeling, you know, made to feel small. Like if there could have been an argument, this person's like, well, you can get the fuck out or something like that. And the person knows like if they left, they wouldn't have anywhere to go. And so that's why someone may be staying in a relationship. You would just put it where it applies for you. Bottom of the deck, again, three of pentacles. Let's get a clarify for the eight of wands. Clarify for the eight of wands for Aquarius, someone rising, Venus, individuals. Yeah, I'm getting somebody staying in something that doesn't make them happy. Yeah, see, because now you have the ace of pentacles in reverse. And I've seen a card flip up. Yep. And you have two aces in reverse. Ace of pentacles in reverse, ace of wands. So somebody's not happy. Because if you look at that hand, it looks like thumbs down, doesn't it? So somebody's not happy. Look at that. Ready to move forward, go in a different direction, but something isn't going in their favor. Especially during the Aries season. Like something's not going in someone's favor, so they can't move on, so they feel stuck. Also, I'm going to tell you what I'm getting, especially with the song Change Me. Like somebody's like, okay, realizing that you're going to leave. And because they can sense that either you're realizing that somebody's going to leave or somebody's realizing that you're going to leave, now they want to act right. Now they want you to tell them what to do or how to act with you. I'm getting that also. Let's get a clarify for the Eight of Swords for Aquarius, Someone Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay, and that flipped up very quickly. Okay, yeah, something with money for sure. Okay, because you got the Seven of Pentacles not moving forward but not moving backwards. And then now you have the King of Swords in reverse. Kings and Queens in reverse abuse their power. Kings and Queens hold power and authority. So in reverse is someone who's abusing their power. This could be you or this other person who's got strong air in their chart. You got this poking up. Nine of Cups not being happy. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment of being happy. It's not Somebody's not happy emotionally. Cups is your emotions and feelings. Not being happy with a situation but feeling like I can't. I don't know where to go because I don't have the financial means to go anywhere. And I just feel stuck. So... There's energy with money being a factor in this situation. And then also, <sighs> money's a factor in this situation. But then also, somebody just needs to learn that the way they've been going about things is not the most positive. And somebody, this person may see you as being authoritative, but actually you're just trying to teach them the right way or they they feel like that about you. And I want you to see this as I picked up the deck. You see, I wasn't shuffling this deck at all. Right up under here, you got the, um, and look, she's going towards it. You have the Wheel of Fortune. And remember I was saying in the very beginning that they see you as a positive influence, either they or you. Somebody in this situation is a positive influence and will bring this person to abundance. I feel like abundance can come from this because this is like things not moving forward. Yeah, there's something with money. Okay, I'm going to say it straight up. There's something with money that's keeping this relationship together for someone doesn't have to be you. It could be the other person. Now, again, I'm going to say if you're completely single, you could definitely have somebody coming in. Uh, yeah, something with 8, 8, 18, 28. Also, August. Okay? Also, August, you can meet someone. And you could be ending a relationship that may be going on eight years. You got seven here and then you have two eights. You could be on the seventh year in this connection, but you may not make it to the eighth year, you know? Because it just seems like it's a burnout because wands are right. The fire is burning and reverse is like somebody feels burnt out by the situation. Even here, he's looking at these dead leaves. You know, someone feels burnt out with this situation. Like, you know, okay. So with the song change me, I feel like now this person wants to come in and say, okay, what do you want me to do? Whatever you need me to do, I'll change. But you may have told this person time and time again, what it is that you want. And they still haven't changed anything. And you're like, okay, time is up. The time is up here. Cause even if you look right here, this looks like the inner workings of like a clock. You know what I mean? So it's like somebody's saying the time is up in this situation. We've done all we can, we but we just it just keeps ending the same way or it just keeps feeling like things are dying out in this situation is what I'm getting here. But I do feel like you when I hear the positive influence, like I feel like you may have been a positive influence for this person financially. And this is why they stuck around, but somebody feels like they're in prison. Hmm. Somebody definitely feels like they're in prison here in this situation. Somebody could literally be in prison. Like they may have eight years or they get ready to come out or they may have to go in for eight years. That's very specific, but I'm just putting it out there. Okay, because you do see how this around her like like prison bars. She has on cuffs right here, you know, chains. We're getting that also. 
Someone may have gotten out of prison, but they still haven't changed their ways. Like they said, they've been doing well and they're going to change their reform. I'm getting that also. Okay. So Aquarius, someone rising in Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.